The first term of an arithmetic progression is A and common difference is D, where D is not equals to 0. First, write down the expression in terms of A and D for the fifth and the fifteenth term. It carries one marks. The first term, the fifth term and the fifteenth term of an arithmetic progression are the first three terms of GP, so that 3A equals to AD and second find the common ratio. Okay, now we are, I'm going to do the solution. Solution, what is given here? The first term. First term equals to A. Common difference. Common. Common difference is equals to D. And then, what we need to find? Write down the expression in terms of A and D for the fifth and fifteenth term. As we know that, the general term for arithmetic progression is a plus n minus 1d. Therefore, t5 will be a plus 5 minus 1d. It is equals to a plus 4d. Um, similarly, for t15, it will be a plus 14d is the solution of this this part now now solution for this second part the same condition is the first term the fifth term and the fifteenth term of ap are the first three terms in gp first term of ap means it's a fifth term means a plus 4d comma fifteen term means a plus 14d means these are the term of AP are the first three terms of GP, GP means they are in GP as they are in GP then what you can write so we can write as they are in GP these three terms are in GP then we can write Then we can write that mm, the second term a plus 4d divided by first term is the common risk is equals to third term a plus 14d divided by a plus 4d as these two ratio are equal because these are common ratio means this will be equal now we'll take now we'll take these two. These two to so uh, this three a equals to a d. Or what you can do is that now we'll cross multiply. It will be a plus four d whole square equals to this a will multiply a plus fourteen d or a plus 4d whole square means a square plus 2ab means is 8ad plus b square means 16d square b square means 4d whole square means 16d square now you multiply this one a into a is a square plus a into 14 is 14ad as this term and this term is cancelled same term uh, with same sign at opposite sides will be cancelled now what we do is that or we'll write this here 16d square plus 8ad minus 14ad equals to 0 or uh, what is here it's 16d square plus 8d minus 14ad means it's minus 6 a d equals to 0 or what is common um, is uh, 2 d is common then over here it will be a d minus 3 a equals to 0 
as you see in question what you, what we can see in question where d is not equals to 0 it means that for this expression what you can do is that either 2d equals to 0 or d equals to 0 it is not possible because you can see in question d is not equals to 0 so what you can equate is that ad minus 3a equals to 0 therefore what you can write ad equals to 3a c is proved similarly similarly we need to find the common ratio we need to find the common ratio common ratio means a plus 40 by a similarly common ratio r equals to a plus 40 divided by a a as it is now c d for d we can find okay from this a d minus 3 equals to 0 we'll find the value of d it will be a d equals to 3 a or d equals to 3 a by 8 okay then this expression will becomes plus 4 d 4 d means c the value of d is 3 3 is into 3a by 8 whole divided by a is equals to 4 c 4 1 times with 2 times then what we will get a plus 3a by 2 whole divided by a this is equals to we take LCM we will get 2a plus 3a divided by 2 whole divided by a then this can be written as 2a plus 3a it's 5a whole divided by this 2 will multiply a it will be 2a and then this a and a is divide 1 1 time is equals to 5 upon 2 therefore what you can write therefore r common ratio is 5 by 2 so in this way we can solve this question <laughs>